2020 was supposed to usher in new beginnings and signify renewed hopes and recharged potentials. But as the Philippines navigated the first quarter, a series of unfortunate events began to unravel. That the Al volcanic eruption, the earthquakes in Mindanao, and a deadly virus spreading worldwide, affecting mostly older people and those with compromised immune systems, hospitalizing the infected, paralyzing jobs, and placing the economy at a standstill. It happened gradually, then suddenly, it became out of hand. The COVID-19 has plunged the Philippines and the world into a crisis like no other. Now we find ourselves home quarantined and socially distanced. And as the pandemic continues to push the world from behind, people ploddingly enter the new normal lost and terrified. With the Philippines' future still uncertain, it is essential to know the serious impediments that slow the country from beating the novel coronavirus and from moving forward from the adverse effects of the socio-economic crisis so we can come up with solutions to help the country get back on its feet. The pandemic has exposed the weaknesses of our governance system, such as the lack of effective coordination between and among government units the absence of clear protocols or manual of operations on managing health emergencies, outdated and fragmented information systems, lack of shared standards and interoperability, lack of reliable tools for targeting beneficiaries of social assistance programs, and an ill-equipped workforce at various levels of local administration. Our government is presented with the challenge of reviving the economy under the new normal and the perennial threat of pandemics, climate change, food insecurity, and fiscal crises. Meanwhile, the business sector needs to reshape itself to thrive in a more uncertain and competitive environment. The academe is left to look for more innovative approaches to sustain education delivery in the new normal and to keep up with the fourth industrial revolution. And there's a troubling rise of public discontent due to limited resources and mobility, and increasing joblessness and poverty. The coronavirus pandemic and other risk factors threaten our sustained economic progress and attainment of sustainable development. To move forward and recover from this crisis and face other challenges, we need to innovate governance across all sectors of society to steer the country toward renewed growth and dynamism. We must, more than ever, work together as one nation to defeat this pandemic. This fight can be won with the concerted effort of all sectors of society. We can treat this pandemic as an opportunity to establish an innovative and agile governance system capable of managing risks and crises. The government should take the lead in creating an environment conducive to learning and innovation by addressing institutional, coordination, and infrastructural issues. It should strengthen the capacities of the civil service through continuous professional development and by establishing a reward and incentive system that emphasizes productivity and innovation. Government offices should develop smart systems to hasten the delivery of public services. To boost the country's resilience to risks and disasters, continuous human capital formation is a must. There should be more efficient access to healthcare services, broad-based access to quality education, and more effective social protection systems. Public and private sector agencies should update and foster interconnection and integration of information systems, promote data sharing and digitalization, and work together toward the advancement of the IT infrastructure. In aiming for organizational agility, the business sector must revisit and redefine their strategies and strive for survivability and resilience. The academe should be ready to provide flexible learning options for students to continue their education. To prepare young people for jobs of the future, 
The curriculum should include both cognitive and socio-emotional development and should be responsive to the needs of industry. Civil society organizations should also innovate their strategies and processes to better reach sectors that have limited access to government channels. The general public also plays a key role in helping the country bounce back in the new normal. Citizens must be open to new ways of doing things. They should be adaptive and innovative in the face of adversity and change. They should retool and retrain by taking advantage of free learning opportunities. They must have an entrepreneurial mindset to thrive amid loss of income and rising unemployment. Despite the devastation that we are facing, we need to have faith that there is light at the end of the tunnel, and this shall soon pass. We should continue to focus our energies on mitigating the spread of the virus, on saving the economy from the damage caused by the pandemic, and on assisting affected sectors in coping with this crisis. Every September, the Philippine Institute for Development Studies leads the entire nation in celebrating the Development Policy Research Month, or DPRM, to emphasize the importance of policy research in the formulation of evidence-based policy interventions to current and emerging development concerns. This year, we chose Innovating Governance for the New Normal as the theme of the 2020 TPRM to rouse our collective consciousness as a nation toward one goal, to bounce back from this crisis by improving the way we govern ourselves and our country. The DPRM's main and culminating activity is the Annual Public Policy Conference, or APPC, which convenes and engages policymakers and analysts, social scientists, and representatives from the government, private sector, and civil society in a rational and evidence-based discussion of issues, opportunities, and policy options. With this year's DPRM celebration, we hope to encourage our fellow civil servants and other development actors and stakeholders to be innovative and agile to help our country move forward from this pandemic. Together, we can bounce back stronger in the new normal.